that uh, Christopher Steele, who composed it, was discredited as a liar and that the document itself was not credible. This is like a detective who frames a suspect and then appoints himself to investigate the suspect over the crime for which he's been framed. And, and not just appoints himself to be the person uh, to prosecute the suspect, but gets the real prosecutor out of the way and says, oh, you're conflicted. I mean, and that's Jeff Sessions. Oh, absolutely. So, so, so whatever Robert Mueller comes up with should never be believed. It's like the exclusionary rule. Right. Tainted, illegally obtained evidence should be excluded. All right. And, you know, John Solomon, I mean, what Greg says is absolutely correct. And we've been saying this from the get-go. This is all fruit of the poisonous tree. Everybody knew that Hillary paid for the dossier with the DNC. And the amazing part, as I said in my open and as I, as I talk about in the book, is no one is even looking at that. And that yeah. campaign contribution, and yet they're on to hookers, whores, and, and campaign contributions on the other side. I have talked to many professionals who worked in a different era of the FBI when these things didn't go on, and here's what they've told me. The only conspiracy they see is a conspiracy by the FBI to defraud and deceive the FISA court to get a FISA warrant on false pretenses. That's a serious charge, and we have to have some accountability. I know people are talking about Congress and Jeff Sessions. The president has another option. What about a blue ribbon commission? Why not bring Louis Free or someone back and get an oversight body that's above reproach, above politics, look at this and tell us what the FBI really did right and wrong here? I don't think we're going to get an answer until we get something more independent looking at this evidence. Well, uh, do you agree with that, yes, Greg? Yes, the FISA court was defrauded. Mm -hmm. Evidence was concealed. The judges were deceived. The Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, John Roberts, is in charge of the FISA court. He appointed all of the judges. He should direct Rosemary Collier, the presiding judge, to hold a four-cause hearing and get to the bottom of this. Haul all of these people in front of them, the FBI, the Department of Justice, explain yourselves. And if she determines this was a fraud on the court, a criminal referral should be made to the Department of Justice. And you know what? I talk about this in Liars and Leakers. Why? Forget about John Roberts, which is a great concept, Supreme Court going after sure. that judge. But why wouldn't the judge who signed the original warrant and three subsequent right. warrants hit the ceiling? They should be angry that they were deceived and defrauded. Unless they were part of the con. John Solomon, very quickly, I have 10 seconds left. Sure. Where are you going next? Well, uh, Papadopoulos started all this, right? The FBI started before Steele with Papadopoulos. I had a column this week in The Hill that showed that what the story the Justice Department gave the courts may not be true. I bet you we're going to find out the original predicate okay. was wrong. Thank you. Great job at The Hill. John Solomon, Greg Jarrett, thanks so much.